Thank you for tuning in to the UC San Diego Mi Camino student series. Today, Natalia Henriquez is with us. She's a transfer student who recently graduated with a degree in physics. Um, welcome, Natalia. Hi, Frank. Thank you for having me. <laughs> hey, we want to just talk a little bit about you and find out what your experience was like. So to start off, how about you share with our audience uh, where you grew up and what inspired you to go to college? So I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, which is located in the LA County. It's a predominantly Hispanic, low-income community. And I always knew that college was, you know, it's the great equalizer, no matter where you come from and your background and your income and whatnot. Um, getting a great education, it just, it kind of levels you with, with other people that have had more advantages. So I knew college was the right path for me. And you're a transfer student. So what community college did you transfer from? Yeah, so I transferred from the Los Angeles Community College District, and I went to a few colleges in that district, but I ultimately graduated from Los Angeles Valley College in 2019. And what was it about UC San Diego that drew you to us and ultimately you chose us? So tell us a little bit about that. Well, I knew that it was a great research institution and that really attracted me. I knew that sometime in my academic career, I wanted to take part in research. Um, so that was a big draw for me. And then it wasn't too far from family. Um, so I could go home whenever I wanted to. And that was really nice, too. So research, tell us a little bit about the research you've done and why is it important for undergraduate students to conduct research? Sure. So. Um, by the end of my first year, uh, I applied to a summer research program called CAMP, which stands for California Alliance for Minority Participation, and it was a STEM-focused program, and I did research with uh, Dr. Tong Young Lin from the Physics Department on cosmology and understanding properties of the cosmic microwave background to um, gain a better understanding of dark matter and seeing how much of the universe is comprised of it. Um, so that was kind of my first research experience. And then I did FMP, the faculty mentorship program from January of this year up until now, um, where I'm working with Dr. Adam Burgasser, studying brown dwarfs and low mass stars, and where I'm analyzing some archival data from a NASA infrared telescope. And um, I think it's important for undergrads to take part in research because it really puts you in the field and it sets you apart from all the theoretical work, all the classwork and homework and whatnot, and you get your hands on projects and on real science or whatever field you're in, and it's it's really great hands-on experience. So Natalia, why physics? What was it about physics that drew you? Well, ever since I was very young, I was very interested in astronomy and astrophysics. Uh, so I knew that physics was kind of the pathway to get there. Now I'm not so sure exactly um, if I'm going to stick with it, but I like physics regardless because it's how we understand the physical world and we can describe all the phenomena that we see and experience. And I think understanding the world um, at a technical level is very valuable for, you know, for society and our technological advances and, you know, uh, bringing the future forward. So I think it's very valuable. And at UC San Diego, we often advise our students to find community when they arrive. Um, what were some of the things you did to find community at UC San Diego? Um, well, it was fairly easy for me because I um, was put into housing with other transfer students, um, uh, six other uh, women and we kind of understood each other coming from a transfer background so it was very easy to build community with them and then my classmates were also transfer students the ones that I befriended and felt a connection with also so we kind of all shared the same experience and that's how I found communities is through my peers that were also transfer students. Great and maybe I know transfer students they tend to be a little bit older um, so mm -hmm. maybe you can share a little bit about how you balance competing needs of your family and your university education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my family and my partner, so my then boyfriend, my now husband, um, they're all a very big part of 
my support system and it was very difficult to detach myself from what I've known for, you know, 24 years. So I would say I did feel a little different, you know, coming in. I was older. Um, I was on the brink of kind of getting married and starting that chapter of life, but I found um, other students were on similar paths as well. So I would just go home whenever I needed to, whenever I needed to see them and kind of regather myself. And I'd come back, I guess, re-energized and, and ready for, you know, a stretch of long weeks ahead. So. Yeah. Awesome. And let's talk a little bit about your transfer experience. Now, recently, UC San Diego opened up a transfer student hub. I'm not sure if you were able to take advantage of any of the services they offered, were you? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't um, really interact with the transfer hub. I would receive occasional emails, like quarterly emails from them. And it was nice to know that they were there. But to be honest with you, I was very busy, like with my research and with my classes and trying to stay on top of that, that and the club also that I was a part of. That I didn't, I didn't really have time to um, take advantage of that resource, but I'm happy that it was available to me. And so you mentioned this club, maybe you could share a little bit more about the club you were involved in. Yeah, so now it's called Marginalized Identities in Physics. We just kind of transformed to that name and a different mission statement. It was previously known as UWIP or Undergraduate Women in Physics. And basically we would just kind of support women and other underrepresented groups in physics by providing workshops and coffee and teas with professors, providing a more intimate environment to get to know professors and get your foot in with research and whatnot. So we were kind of just a support group and we also took part in um, a conference every year to get to see all the other amazing women and underrepresented identities in physics uh, and their research, so. And it sounds like you're, I believe you said now husband, but um, when yeah. you started maybe, you, I think you used the term partner. Sounds like he's been a big part of your journey and mm -hmm. uh, I know you recently graduated. What was that like for you and for him? Well, I feel like we can finally, you know, spend a little more time together and enjoy our marriage. We've only been married for, I think, like 10 months. So it's really nice that I have more time to spend with him and, you know, without the academic stress. And I'm going to enjoy my gap year um, as much as I can. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad to hear you're taking a gap year. It sounds like you were super busy with your research and your academics while you were here at UC San Diego. Um, looking back on your time at UC San Diego and in community college, I'm wondering what you might share in terms of advice for future Tritons who are transferring in. Well, I would say, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot that you want to do. There's a lot that you want for yourself. So I would just say advocate for yourself. And as much as you have doubts and fears of rejection, I would say still go for it and still do it. The worst people can say is no, and then you move on and onto the next opportunity. So I would just say, just go for it and put yourself out there. And I know you mentioned um, Adam Bergasser as a, one of your faculty uh, mentors or leaders. Yeah. And I'm wondering maybe if you could share a little bit about the value of mentorship. It gives you an insight onto what that professor or that professional does in their career, in their everyday life. So it gives you a better understanding if that's the kind of path in life that you want for yourself. Um, mentorship gives you um, resources, you know, they connect you with other peers that are doing the same thing. Uh, they encourage you and it's really, I feel like it really makes or breaks your experience in a way because you have this, you know, person that you look up to and if they value, you know, they put value in you and they believe in you, then you're going to believe in yourself. So I think mentorship is very important. Wonderful. And then I'm thinking you have a gap year. Are you contemplating an advanced degree in astrophysics? Um, yeah, so I'm contemplating, yes, going to grad school and getting a higher degree in physics or engineering. Um, I'm still undecided between the two and I'm kind of looking around at the different programs in my area. I don't plan on leaving Los Angeles again, so my options are a little, you know, limited by that. But yeah, so it'll be either of the two that I plan on getting a master's degree in. Well, I hope you will apply to our graduate programs at UC San Diego so you can continue your research here. I'm sure Adam would love to have you in his lab.
just a few more things. Uh, maybe you can just share with us. Did you go to the graduation ceremony? Yeah. You could take two guests. I'm imagining your husband was one. Who was the other person? No, actually, he sacrificed his ticket for my little sister. She's 10 years younger than me, so she's 15. So it was my mom and my sister. And I was very touched that he did that because I think it's important that my younger sister saw me kind of setting an example to get a college degree. And she saw me struggling. She saw me late at night and everything that I had to go through. And um, it made her really happy. And my mom as well, you know, first gen to graduate from college. So that was very special. Yeah, that sounds like it was really a heartwarming experience for you and yeah. your family. Um, and just, you know, just to wrap up our time together, I'm wondering if there's maybe one or two fond moments. Uh, you know, going to a tier one research institution is about academics, but there's sometimes very um, heartfelt and fun moments that happen as well. Is there any that stand out that you might want to share with the audience? Um, yeah, I guess um, one night me and a few classmates were um, trying to finish some homework. It was a very difficult homework assignment to say the least. And we were at Geisel, I think like on the first floor, it was probably 10 o'clock or so or past. And, you know, we kind of just tried our best, then gave up and went to soda and swine and got some drinks. <laughs> so that was really fun. And then another one um, during the pandemic, I stayed on campus uh, spring 2020. And it was just me and one roommate in our entire apartment. And it was just the two of us the whole time. And we would go out and cross the street to watch the sunset um, on the cliffs uh, by the beach. So that was really nice. Yeah, it's one of the, the advantages of coming to UC San Diego. If you're lucky, you might get a ocean view. I did have a slight ocean view from my bedroom. I thought nobody else has this. This is nice. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, congratulations on graduating. Um, big accomplishment. Good luck in your future. And I hope to see you on our campus again as a graduate student. Thank you very much, Frank. <laughs> sure thing. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.